Hi friends, welcome to WizBusters. I'm Emma, and today I'm going to tell you about some important errors to avoid when using the VLOOKUP function. To learn about or review the VLOOKUP function, check out my previous video on this. Before we begin, to stay updated with new videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified of the latest videos out. So now let's take a look at some errors. In this spreadsheet here, on the left, we have a table with four columns. The first column is the type of flight, domestic or international. Second column is the airline. And the last two columns are the arrival times in the morning and afternoon, respectively. The next table contains the names of the airlines for which we want the afternoon arrival times. So let's find the afternoon arrival time for the first airline in this table, Air Canada. So we type in equal VLOOKUP, open parentheses, and recall that there are four parameters. The first parameter search key is asking, what do we want to look up or search for? And we want to look up Air Canada, which is in this cell. So we click the cell to reference our lookup value. Secondly, range is the parameter that we're asking in what range do we want to look for Air Canada? Well, we want to look for it in this table. Suppose we choose B7 to E14 as our range because it's in this table. Our third parameter is index, and that's asking what is the column number in which the value is located. So in this range that we selected, it's the PM arrivals are in one, two, three, four, the fourth column. So we type in four. And the final parameter is, is sorted. And this is asking, do you want an exact match or an approximate match? Well, we want an exact match. So we type in false there. We close it and we press enter. Let's see what we get. We get hashtag any, and there's an error in here which says, did not find value Air Canada in VLOOKUP evaluation. Well, the thing is there is Air Canada here. So what happened? Let's click the function and see what there is. So when we click it, we see that this entire table is highlighted, this range, which is what we chose. But recall VLOOKUP works if the lookup value is in the first column of the range but Air Canada is in the second column of this range. So to fix this, we must change our formula. So the range includes the lookup value in the first column like this. So let's delete this and let's put equal V lookup. And we want to look up Air Canada value and we want to change our range to C7 to E14, where the airline is in the first column. Now, in this range that we selected, the PM arrivals are in one, two, three, the third column. So we must put three there and we want an exact match. So we put false and we press enter. We got 145. Let's take a look. Air Canada's PM arrival is 145. So that matches up. So therefore, our first error, we have to ensure that our lookup values are in the first column of your range that you select. Now that we got this, let's drag the formula down to get the values of the other airlines. Let's just drag that down. All right, and notice that we got an error. We got an error here for Emirates. Let's take a look. It says, did not find value Emirates in VLOOKUP evaluation, but if Emirates is right here. So let's go into the function. Let's click it. Why did this happen? Let's click inside the formula and look at it. Notice that the range C8 to E15 is highlighted. This is not the range we chose before. We had chosen C7 to E14. So the range also shifted down when we dragged the formula to the next cell below. To avoid this, we use absolute references for our range. And we do this by adding the dollar signs in front of the C and the 8, E and the 14. The shortcut for this is to press F4 key on your desktop keyboard or function plus F4 keys in your laptop. Notice that I did it for Emirates but we should actually do it for the Air Canada. So here we want to do function F4. So let's drag this formula down 
and see what we get. Notice that we got 330 for Emirates. And when we check it here, we got 330 as well. So that matches up. So therefore, put absolute references for your range, especially when you're going to be dragging your formula down and it's applying vertically like this. The third thing is Lufthansa. Now we see an error here again. And why is this happening? Well, if we look at our reference table, Lufthansa should give us 715, but why are we getting an error? So if I click into the formula, everything looks good so far as we discussed. So let's press enter. Let's click into Lufthansa. Uh, notice our cursor is blinking after a space which is situated after the word Lufthansa. So let's remove that space and see if this works. It does work. So what we learned here is that if there are trailing spaces in our lookup value, then it won't match with our reference range and, and it will return an error. So for the purpose of this video, I removed the space manually. However, there are other ways we can deal with this, such as using the trim, substitute and car functions. Next, we have the fourth airline, which is Austrian Airlines. And it is again returning an error. Let's take a look into our reference table and see what value it should return. So if we do Austrian Airlines, well, Austrian Airlines is not one of the airlines in the airline column. Therefore, the lookup value does not exist in the range. So this is a valid error. Now, there are ways to deal with this using other functions to manage this type of error, such as using the FERR function. So this error pretty much tells you that if the lookup value is not in our reference table, you're going to get an error. Finally, our last airline is Air France. It returns 445. Now, this is not an error. It's not telling me an error, but let's look into our reference table. So if I do look at Air France, Air France here, it says 445. Great. It did give me 445. But if I continue looking, it says Air France 235. So there are two rows with Air France. So the fourth row, which should be returned, is 445. And the sixth row, it would have been 235. But note, this is not an error. But this is an important thing to call out as it shows us that VLOOKUP will return the value for the first instance of the lookup value. And there we go, my friends. That's it for errors for now in uh, VLOOKUP function. And hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.